National Center for Sustainable Transportation is a part of the Federal University Transportation Center program. There are five national centers in the country, each one addressing a different national priority. The mission of the National Center is to move the nation towards a more sustainable transportation system. The Institute of Transportation Studies here at UC Davis has been a leader in sustainable transportation research for more than two decades. UC Davis is very excited to be working with the other partner schools in the National Center. Our partners at the University of Vermont are working on climate change adaptation and system resiliency as well as issues around air quality. Our colleagues at Georgia Tech are working on vehicle and personal activity monitoring, traffic simulation, driver behavior analysis, as well as air quality issues. USC and Cal State Long Beach have had a long-standing partnership as METRANS. Researchers at METRANS have been leading the way on research on environmental sustainability around international trade, goods movement, and urban mobility. Our fellow researchers at UC Riverside are doing cutting-edge research on the efficiency of the operation of the system from the standpoint of environmental sustainability. And right here at UC Davis, our researchers are doing important work on topics ranging from the electric vehicle market to alternative fuels, to sustainable pavements, to the use of bicycling as a mode of transportation. Our theme is sustainable transportation, meaning economically, environmentally, and socially sustainable. We have an incredibly expensive and resource-intensive transportation system. How do we move it towards something that is lower carbon, more equitable, and less expensive? We have four research themes. The first one is infrastructure and management of the infrastructure. How do we use it more efficiently? Number two is fuels and vehicles. How do we move toward a low carbon, low energy future, electric vehicles, hydrogen fuel cells? Number three is land use and mobility. How do we reduce the amount of driving by having better transit, by having new mobility services that use information technology? And the fourth is policy. And that means how do we take all that research and make sure that it actually is impactful and it really is used to influence decision making. I think the relationship between government and academic institutions is incredibly important. And I think that's because there are, especially when you're a state like California and you're really looking at issues that are just on the forefront, they're on the cutting edge, you're really trying to figure out how to lead the way. And a lot of times you don't have a lot of data that's already out there. And it's great to have an academic institution like NCST to dig into some of the data that is there to help us think through what types of data we do need to continue to inform our decisions so that we make good decisions. And when academia and the government work hand in hand, I think we just have a great opportunity to have really well-informed policies with, with uh, great data that's provided by our academic institutions. And additionally, when we have questions that we need additional information on, we might be able to reach out to academia and say, hey, this is a great question. Is there a researcher or a professor who'd like to take this on and help us fill that information gap and provide the data that we need to make sound decisions? 